Hello guys and welcome to this series of shell scripting. In this video we are going to look at the internal field separator that is IFS shell variable. So let's begin. First of all IFS or internal field separator is a shell variable that contains list of characters as its value. The IFS shell variable is used during the field splitting, during parameter expansion or during command substitution or arithmetic expansion. Arithmetic expansion means when we are using the double parenthesis, right? After that, it is also used during the expansion of asterisk in positional arguments, that is during command line arguments. And also it is used to split the lines into fields or words when using the read command, okay? Now in this video, we are going to focus the use of IFS for the field splitting and during the expansion of asterisk in positional argument how it is used with the read command that we will see in some future videos. Now before going to the shell script, let's see how IFS is useful during the field splitting. Suppose we are given a line that is Frank space Ross space Chris and our IFS is set to space, right? Now in this particular case, if I ask you how many words or how many fields are there in this line, then you will say there are three words or three fields. Why? Because the space is acting as a field splitting character. So Frank will be our first word, Ross will be second and Chris will be third, okay? So in this particular case, the total number of fields or total number of words will be three, right? Now let's see another example in which first let's suppose that colon is acting as a field splitting character. Then Frank will be first word, Ross space best will be second word and Chris will be third word since colon is acting as a word splitting character in a line. Okay, so in this particular case, total number of fields or total number of words are three, right? Now, in case if our IFS is set to space, then Frank colon Ross will be our first word, then best colon Chris will be our second word. Note, now the fields are getting separated with the space, not with the colon. So in this case, total number of words or total number of fields are two. Now, in the next case, we are having two different characters as the IFS that is two different character will act as a word splitting characters. So in this case if a space is encounter then also it will take as a word splitting character and also if colon is encounter then also it will taken as a word splitting character right. So in this particular case Frank will be our first word then Ross will be our second word since colon is coming then since space is coming so this will act as a word splitting character then till best it will be our third word and then Chris will be our fourth word. So total number of words or total number of fields in this particular case will be four. Okay. Now if we want to find out the default value of our IFS then we can write here set and then grab then IFS. Okay. So at the top it will state that our default value of IFS is set to space then tab then new line character. Now if you notice here there is also dollar return in front of the single quotes. Right. So what is the meaning of dollar here? The dollar when preceded with the single quotes string, then the escape characters will be used. For example, in this particular case, we are seeing that slash and T are two different characters. But since the dollar has been written and single quotes are being used, so escape character that is slash T will be taken as a single character that is a tab character. If in case the dollar was not written, then there would have been space as a one character, slash as a different character, t as a different character, then again slash as a different character and n character will be taken individually, okay? Escape characters will no longer be used, right? So when I string encoded within a single quotes and preceded it with dollar, then the escape characters will be used. Otherwise, they will not have any special meaning, right? Now let's see a shell script to understand its usage during field splitting. Use of IFS during field splitting mainly occurs during the parameter expansion. That is when we try to access a particular variable. Then the command substitution that when we run the command with the dollar parenthesis or using the double back quotes. And also during the arithmetic expansion that is while using the double parenthesis. Okay. Notice field splitting will only work if these are not in quotes. Okay, if these are in the quotes, then field splitting will not work, right? For example, suppose I'm setting the IFS as colon and our variable one has the value as Raj colon Ram colon Shyam. Okay, so in this particular case, if I write here echo dollar where one, that is parameter expansion or accessing a particular parameter, 
then we will notice that colon will get replaced with the space right because colon is acting as a word splitting character so in total there are going to be three words so if we save it and execute our shell script that is ifs then you will see our output is raj space ram space shyam correct similarly i am going to write here at the rate then wiki colon wiki one so in this particular case since colon is acting as a word splitting character our output will be raj space ram space shyam at the rate wiki and then the wik one okay so if we save it and again execute our shell script our output is raj space ram space shyam at the rate wiki and then the wik one if we take multiple characters as a word splitting character then in this particular case at the rate will also get replaced with the space basically at the rate is acting as a word splitting character so if we again save it and execute it then you will see no at the rate is showing up in the output right now this thing is highly useful when we are using the loops okay for instance i can write here for i in then dollar where okay where one so in this particular case since our ifs is set to at the rate and colon so the result of this parameter expansion will be raj then space ram then shyam and then wiki and then the wik one so in this particular case all the output will be space separated and for loop uses the space separated values so loop is going to be run five times right so let me write here do done and inside it i am going to write here echo word is and then dollar i right so let's save it and if we again execute our shell script you will see that the loop is running five times each time for a different value now if i simply code the parameter expansion then you will see no such word splitting will occur okay so let's again execute it then you will see the loop is running only one time with entire value as a single one similar to that we can also use the parameter expansions for instance i can write here dollar then i am going to use here parenthesis you can also use the back quote here and i am going to write here echo then raj colon vikram okay and let me remove this variable from here right and this one also so in this particular case whatever is written inside the parenthesis will get evaluated so the output of this particular command will be raj then colon vikram correct and after that the word splitting will take place okay now since the colon is acting as a word splitting character that we have set up at the top the final output of the command substitution will be wiki then space and then vikram correct the colon will get replaced with the space since it is acting as a word splitting character if you want to view it we can also write it in the top so i'm going to write here echo dollar then inside it echo then raj colon vikram okay so let's save it and again execute our shell script you will see our output is raj space vikram and also the loop is running two times okay similar to these field splitting also uses the ifs during the arithmetic expansion for instance suppose i am going to write here dollar then i will write here x equals to 4000 okay and i am going to set ifs as 4 right so in this particular case if you view the shell script or the output of our shell script you will see it is giving us output as triple zero basically taking 4 as a field splitting character right now remember that it is generally not required to use the ifs in the arithmetic expansion or in the double parenthesis okay we use the arithmetic to perform the operation specifically so in that particular case we don't need to split the fields or split into the words right now in the positional arguments ifs is used as a joining characters for the dollar asterisk when used within the quotes for instance i had written here dollar asterisk dollar at the rate then again dollar asterisk within the quotes and dollar at the rate right so in this particular case at the rate will act as a joining characters for the dollar asterisk when inside the quotes so if we save it and execute our shell script and i will give some values for example wiki1 wiki2 and also the wiki3 right so in this particular case you will see at the rate is acting as a joining characters okay for the dollar asterisk when used within the quotes also notice if i write here multiple characters as the ifs then only the first character will be used right you can also use other characters like slash n 
okay so if you want to use the slash n then i have to use here single quotes and before it i need to use the dollar so that escape characters can be used and slash n will act as a new line character okay so if we save it and if we again execute our shell script you will see the values are joined with the slash n correct so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see in the next video